Never in my life have I ever consumed shit on a shingle. I, I mean, creamed, chipped beef. <laughs> You guys, hello, happy Wednesday. Welcome back to Sean's first time eating. Yeah, uh, tender strips of dried beef in a seasoned creamy sauce on what looks like white bread. On the show, when you guys donate, I eat what you want me to eat, and Matthew Menentowski said, I would love to see you try Stouffer's creamed chipped beef if you can find it. Legend has it they served this to the troops in World War II and called it, quote, on a shingle. Now you can make this a little more gourmet if you'd like, but I feel like a lot of people in America try things for the very first time because Stouffer's made some version of it. I just got myself some Stouffer's. They make so many good things. Some ready in just 15 minutes, which is great when you're in a hurry. And crazy enough, I would have thought this was a baking thing. They have a seven minute microwave instruction and then have extra time. Not at all, but Sure. 18 minutes boiling water stove top. Now I heard a rumor that my good buddy was at the bar last night and it was frat night is what he called it. Here, this will really provoke him. Rory Rory in the boil. Let me get this straight. So you went to a frat bar party, got so drunk and ate the ice luge? So what if it had some leftover pucker in it? You got issues, dog. Rory Boyle parties. <laughs> Definitely seen this in the grocery store and politely kept walking, didn't inquire. Let's see what's in this, what it looks like. Okay, so... <laughs> what the hell is this? Oh, what the... It looks like a lunchbox ice pack that somehow like busted open and got moldy or something. <laughs> How is this food? All right, we're gonna drop this into boiling water. Shoot out of water everywhere. And then put it to simmer for 18 minutes. <sighs> now I obviously have no idea if the boiling instructions are better than the microwave. I just traditionally think that the longer you cook something, the better. The harder it is to do, the better. Like oven over microwave every time. All right, so I guess it's a BYOB situation. It doesn't say not pictured. Bring your own bread. You got any meat? <laughs> meat! I think I'm gonna put this meat tenderizer on top of it here so it stays toward the bottom inside the hot tub. Okay, so according to the internet, Wikipedia. In the US, chipped beef on toast was commonly served to service members of the US Armed Forces. It was thus considered emblematic of the military experience. In American military slang, commonly referred to as SOS, shit on a shingle. The shingle is the slice of bread, and the cream chipped beef was the shit. This says it went back as far as World War I, when an army field kitchen was unable to keep up with the rapidly advancing Marine Brigade. Yeah, this is 1910. Stewed chipped beef. Chipped beef is a form of pressed, salted, and dried beef that has been sliced into thin pieces. The cream sauce is usually a bechamel sauce, which is made from flour, butter, and milk. Bechamel sauce. Bechamel sauce. Have you guys ever had creamed chipped beef on toast? All right, it's been 18 minutes. I've, I've boiled a bag of goo. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, Panic. <laughs> Slide this over here. A couple of pieces of white bread going in the toaster. Look at that, it's just perfect toast. Sometimes the simplest things in life are the best. All right, we'll take our scissors and open up this boiled bag of goo. This is cooking. So yeah, it almost has like an Alfredo consistency with like Steakums meat. <laughs> <laughs> They're 100% pure beef and nothing else. Steak them for dinner, steak them for lunch. In the photo they have it stacked, so we'll kind of do it like offset maybe. We're just gonna go ahead and do this, I guess, huh? <laughs> it's amazing how much doesn't gross me out anymore. Ooh, we got some leftovers. <laughs> you go there. Anything like this just kind of screams black pepper to me. 
Plus it just like sits on that white sauce so well. I'm just gonna send a photo of this to my dad with no context. He's gonna get such a kick out of it. All right, moment of truth. You can see the dried beef in there. You can see the sauce, the black pepper, and this toast, this toasty toast holding its own down here. I'm not that weirded out by it. <laughs> Stover's normally does a pretty good job with stuff. We shall see. I'd love to make this homemade sometime. If the donation comes in, we'll do it homemade. But this was a good Sherpa-ing. This is like, Stover's is like the Sherpa into this world. Where do you even begin? I mean, creamy white sauce and salty meat and bread, it's, you know. I think it's gonna be exactly what I think it's gonna be. That doesn't make sense. All right, creamed chipped beef, Matthew Menentowski. Thank you for the donation. Cheers. They really should have come up with a, like a better name. The name makes it sound so like hobo-ish. Like, and that's even an insult to homeless people. This is like, it's just salty, creamy, peppery. It's just so salty. It's a salty cream on bread. And then like the consistency of like a really thinly sliced ham or like salami. <laughs> this isn't bad at all. That's enjoyable. Now I've had a very pampered life and have never had to go to war for my country's freedom. But if I got a warm meal of that after a battle or sitting in a bunker for 14 hours and then I got to eat this, I'd be singing. My grandpa told me a story one time in World War II. He was out like three, four days in a row somewhere where they barely even had water out in Germany. And they were promised that night warm coffee and all the soldiers were so excited and they were like literally losing their minds about how excited they were to have warm coffee. And one of the young kids like just, who just got in, who was like not even 18, like probably 17. That kid went and like filled up a bunch of canisters like tanks with coffee from somewhere like some major city and brought it to the lines. The dumb, this dumbass put the coffee in old, gasoline canisters. So they all sat around that night after freezing their asses off to drink coffee and it had a gasoline taste. He said, my grandpa said they literally almost killed the kid. <laughs> I'm gonna kill you, Lloyd. Calm down. Right now, I'm gonna kill you. Harry, you got that crazy look in your eye. So I'm pretty sure my grandpa would have dug some shit on a shingle that night. His war stories were so insane. The stuff he'd tell me, my mom told me that like growing up, he would never talk about the war until my brother and I started asking about it. So like, it took him 45 years to finally talk about it. Dude saw some stuff. This is better than like half the stuff Stouffer's makes. That cooking technique, a little unconventional, but the meal, very unconventional. So if you eat this whole container, 340 calories, and then you probably assume 100, 120 calories per slice of bread. Cannot wait to hear if you guys have had this and what you think of creamed chipped beef. Desperately needs a new name so people don't hurl when hearing it. <laughs> this donation show is a blast. There's no world I would have ever eaten this. Matthew, amazing. Uh, last couple bites, I'm gonna add some of the best hot sauce in the game. I wonder what kind of hot sauce like my grandpa had, like in the 40s, like if he ever ate hot sauce, or if everything was just so bland. It's fancy now. Mm. This is straight up good. I can't believe I'm saying this, I'm like bummed it's over. I could make a gourmet version of this that would just, Wow, some folks. Matthew, thank you so much for that. When that donation came in, I was like, what? Now I think about you as someone who could maybe be responsible for global peace. <laughs> just the leader of the Ukraine and Matthew Menentowski, just the two, the one two. Wow. Well guys, that was fan, can I say it? Fucking tastic. <laughs> if you want to donate to the show and keep this going every single, we probably cut this camera off. That's, we don't need that angle anymore. <laughs> donate to the show. I will make a video for every single donation that comes in. If you want me to pick something, if you have a specific thing you want me to eat, it's all written. Whoa. It's all written down in the donation notebook. Matthew Menentowski, what's today? The second? March 2nd. Creamed chipped beef. Fantastic. And I feel weird saying it. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. 
see you again tomorrow for another one. This is Sean's first time eating thing, making my life complete. Go eat cream chip beef and tell me what you think of it.